The Cape Cod Chamber Orchestra's new virtual concert, Toward the Sea, is to music what Impressionist art is to painting. Or so I'm told by Matt Sinto, the Cape Cod Chamber Orchestra's music director, conductor, and founder. So we are here at the Cultural Center of Cape Cod. We are recording our fourth virtual concert of this season. It's titled Toward the Sea. Actually, the title comes from the last piece that you may have just heard uh, being played, a piece by uh, the Japanese composer Toro Takumitsu. Uh, we have that on the program, some music by Vaughn Williams and Debussy, and I think more of an impressionist sounding program this time. I wanted to kind of fit the walls a little bit. Toward the Sea is being recorded at the Cultural Center of Cape Cod in South Yarmouth. Its lush acoustics and ambient atmosphere make it the perfect setting for a virtual concert. We wouldn't really have an opportunity to do necessarily with an audience because we take up a lot of room, uh, the chamber orchestra. So uh, it's, a, it's a great space to make music and especially for uh, strings and we have harp and flute and wind instruments. So I think every space you play music in has a certain character and vibe and color to it and i wanted to pick music that really highlights the the room and the and the and the place and all of the wonderful cape cod artists that surround the walls here when the coronavirus pandemic began in 2020 the cape cod chamber orchestra pivoted to virtual events and concerts now that the state is fully reopening they're looking forward to returning to live in-person performances I think it's time. I mean, we are, we're, it seems like a good road ahead and we all need this. It's been so long without any type of live music or just a cultural activity. And uh, no better place than trying to revitalize some art and music on Cape Cod. The Cape Cod Chamber Orchestra is planning to hold live in-person concerts beginning in October. To learn more about their upcoming season, visit capecodchamberorchestra.org. In South Yarmouth, for Cape Media News, I'm Gabrielle Rawson.